Okay, back at it again. Say hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Hi, Bill. Go America. So we're putting the uh, ball joint deletes in Bill's uh, Dana 60 front axle. I'll explain this in a minute, but we put a, Bill had a smaller bottle jack than mine right here in between. The lower one's already in, I'll show you that. We put one in here. I, want, I didn't want to put all the pressure with the press on this upper ear to press in the upper ball joint delete. I wanted to put something in between for a little counter pressure. My fear was, I don't know how many tons it'll take to either bend that or snap that off. So usually I put something in between them. Here's the, uh, the rest of the kit right here, all the hardware. The lower ball joint delete is already pressed in there. It takes a uh, big snap ring on the bottom. And then, I forget the order everything goes, but we'll get to it in a minute. Allen bolt goes up through. Tapered, tapered sleeve goes up through. So, tapered sleeve right here. And then, if you, uh, Put on your thinking cap, your imagination. You could see on a Dana 60, the ball joints are in the knuckle, but this is the same tapered sleeve. Goes up in the bottom of there, and then the bolt will end up coming through with a low profile lock nut on top. And the upper is similar. These, uh, these are the one and a half degree uh, bushings and we clocked them for adding one and a half degrees of caster. So this hole is just offset from center, little aerial view of it here. And what you can picture is if you, if you move, looking at the side, if you move the ball joint back, you'll add more caster, positive caster. If you move it forward, you'll negative caster. So we figured I wanted to add one and a half degrees of caster. You can also clock these to move your camber in or out or somewhere in between. You can get about three quarters of a degree of caster and positive or negative camber. Uh, they also offer, they offer these in a zero, which has the hole right in the middle and a three degree, which has the hole much further off to the side, which is what I got for the growler. Okay, we're gonna continue reassembly and uh, show you what it looks like going together. Okay, driver's side knuckle is on. You can see the, uh, these are seven eighths bolts with low profile lock nuts to the inside. We torqued everything down, lowers go to 100. 100 foot-pounds, uppers to 80. Um, I'd use a three-quarter inch, three-quarter inch Allen socket to go in there in a big half-inch torque wrench. So we're going to put the other side on, but before we do, kind of show you what it looks like here. So you got your upper bearing in, lower bearing in, O-rings, O-rings and um, washers. And then there's another one, there's a spacer here. This comes out. This is just a spacer, straight spacer, because the head of the bolt won't fit up inside that housing. And there's another O-ring and washer on the top. So Bill's gonna line this sucker up. We're gonna try to get that thing up in there. I may have to stop recording and actually help him. Thank you. Fingers. Yep. I don't think that's enough yet to get the... The nut's on, okay. It's on. So the nut is started. We're gonna crank that lower nut down. 
Then we're gonna put the other bolt in with the bolt from the top down and the nuts will be in the middle. And then we'll get everything torqued and we'll see how it all fits. Okay, back at it. <clears throat> Ran out of memory on the phone. So anyway, uh, he's making the decision on dry flanges versus lockout hubs. Uh, one thing I can show you is the steering. Uh, in case you're curious, these are TMR Customs high steer arms. They get drilled out. We used a one inch reamer. This one inch bolt goes through. They supply a sleeve, gets welded in, and it goes all the way through the cast factory tapered tie rod end hole. The outer hole here is for the tie rod. It's three quarter inch. So I've ordered seven eighths rod ends with three quarter inch misalignment spacers and a tie rod. Uh, so he wanted to use an aluminum tie rod. It'll be this same size, inch and three quarter inch. And it'll go wheel to wheel. I ordered these from Summit Machine. The rod ends came from TMR Customs. And this is obviously just a mock-up. This is a spare upper link from my growler. And that's about it. So this thing uh, is waiting a few more parts. But the focus on the video was the ball joint delete kit. And that should take care of it.